We sit down with John Carpenter, the president and CEO of the Choose DuPage Economic Development Alliance, about the growth in jobs and industry throughout DuPage County. This runs about 30 minutes. John Carpenter, thanks for joining us on the Illinois Channel. It's been a while since we've had a chance to get together. And as we are here in DuPage County, and you are the CEO of Choose DuPage, uh, so much of what we hear about Illinois these days seems to be negative, but of course, as you go around the state, there's any number of positive stories. I think DuPage County and the economic development uh, up here is one of those, and we wanted to touch base with you on some of the, the things that are making DuPage successful, what projects you're working on. So let me give you an opening. Just what's, what's the big picture here of economic development in DuPage and what's working? There are lots of uh, inherent, inherent uh, advantages in DuPage County to doing business here and to living here. We have excellent schools. Uh, schools are a big reason many people move here. We have an incredible uh, infrastructure, transportation infrastructure, uh, the ability to get anywhere in the region, anywhere within the Midwest, within several hours drive. We have uh, railroads, uh, Class A railroads, O'Hare Airport. Uh, plenty of advantages to doing business here as well. We have an ed educated and trained workforce. 50% or so of our residents have college degrees or greater. 92% of high school degrees or greater. Uh, it's a, it's a well-trained, well-educated workforce, um, and it's a good place to live and work. So over the last few years, and of course, let's just bring it to the, we've had the political standoff that's been going on for several years. To what extent is that a factor? I mean, we're far away from Springfield, but <coughs> right. does that factor in when you're trying to reach out and sure. work on economic development? Oh, yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, it, it makes Illinois a less desirable place to relocate if you're not in Illinois already, and it makes it a le less desirable place to stay if you're already here. We are challenged. There are a lot of companies looking to grow and expand and relocate their, their op operations. Uh, unfortunately, until things settle down and we get our financial house in order, fewer and fewer companies are stopping here while they're looking for places to relocate or expand. We are doing a, uh, most of our effort is into keeping companies here, helping companies grow that are here already and want to stay here. A lot of companies want to stay here for a lot of reasons. There's always going to be some premium paid for doing business in this region. Uh, we've got excellent uh, uh, Class A research universities. We've got excellent transportation infrastructure. We are geographically desirable. Either coast is several hours away. Uh, so you will pay a premium for some of the amenities that Illinois and northern, eastern Illinois has to offer, and particularly DuPage County. But until other problems are solved, we aren't going to be able to fully exploit the advantages that we have. I know one of the things uh, you and I had talked about is uh, the importance of uh, O'Hare Airport. Right. Uh, and I think as I say that, I mean how Boeing has uh, moved their headquarters from Seattle to the Chicago area. Right. Not DuPage, but but the Chicago area, because they wanted to be more centrally located. Exactly. They wanted their executives to be able to get in and out quickly. Mm -hmm. How much of an advantage is that for DuPage County to have O'Hare there? Oh, it's 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 an unmatched advantage. Considering we are on the western side of the airport, and that meaningful western access is moving forward, will be realized within a few years. DuPage puts du, at, that puts DuPage County in an excellent position. We will have uh, the same access to the airport that every city, municipality has on the east side of the airport. Uh, the people that live here today, the companies that, that operate here today, will not, no longer have to go all the way around the airport and get funneled in from one front door. Uh, there will be two front doors to, to O'Hare Airport in the not-too-distant future, and DuPage County is sitting on that doorstep. You and I have known each other for several years. You, in the past, before I knew you, actually, you worked uh, with the airlines at what American, as I understand. Correct, right. You uh, had worked when we first met with uh, the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce. Now you're doing what you're doing here in DuPage. So the point is you have a wealth of knowledge from all your background of that economic development issues. And as you talk to people, and, and we're here in a beautiful office park, and I would say for those who haven't driven around mm -hmm. DuPage, there's really some very charming little communities that people live in with charming little downtown areas right. uh, with restaurants and places to go. Um, how, how has your, uh, your efforts, and, and how long have you been here with the DuPage? It'll be two company? years uh, this coming fall, this September. I guess what I'm shooting for is what's the trend line over your years of working in economic development, let's say for the last 10 years, if you right. can, can well, say that. I think um, the trend line is, is that 
DuPage County's attractiveness is becoming more and more obvious. Uh, we have nearly 30 metro stops uh, in DuPage County with incredible capacity going east and west, inbound, outbound. So it is now possible if you choose to live someplace outside of DuPage County, if you want to work here, it's a convenient connection. If you work in downtown Chicago, DuPage County is an attractive place to live. We have excellent schools, excellent transportation uh, infrastructure, and charming downtown areas. We are seeing more and more transit-oriented development taking place, apartments, townhouses um, for either millennials, young single people, or empty nesters. Have the ability to live in a downtown area with good restaurants, good entertainment, uh, beautiful amenities, and be able to be downtown in 20 or 25 minutes on a train. When you uh, talk about millennials, uh, are they a different crowd when you try to uh, attract them or businesses try to attract them and if so how are they different than let's say our generation of workers? Uh, I think that uh, our generation took a job with the intention of staying there for 30 years. I don't think we see that same kind of loyalty um, today. People move around, they're more mobile, they're more uh, less committed to, the, to, uh, to an employer. Uh, I think that we also see, uh, we hear a lot about the, the trying to uh, attract the millennial talent uh, in downtown Chicago and companies moving there for that reason. I don't completely buy that argument or that story. I think that many companies are going downtown uh, not to attract the talent as much as it is to cut costs. Uh, they may have uh, a, a younger, less experienced uh, workforce um, who will come in at a lower, lower um, place in the salary scale. Uh, they also um, may have uh, fewer, uh, more expensive square footage uh, but have many fewer square feet. So I think it's, we have to be honest. Uh, there, there are millenn there's millennial talent in DuPage County. We are gaining about a thousand millennial uh, tech jobs, a, a thousand tech jobs a year in DuPage County. So m millennial talent is here, with the with the commuter operations that we have and with the mobility that we the ability we have to commute in DuPage County. There's no reason anybody doesn't need nobody can they can live downtown and work out here. That's not a big deal. Um, so I think that you know the, the, the workforce is different. Um, what everything we see is that the millennials will buy later if they buy housing. Uh, they aren't committed to owning a car necessarily. Um, they want to spend money on other things. Um, but I don't. I think when they start raising families, uh, they will be doing so um, in the city for a couple of years. But when the second child comes along, I don't think they're reluctant to pay tuition, just like they're reluctant to pay a mortgage or a car payment. They'll come out here for the schools. The schools in DuPage County are unmatched. Uh, unparalleled excellence in DuPage County, and uh, every parent wants their kid, their child to be well educated. And DuPage County is the place to do it. When you talked about mobility, and people people nowhere want to sit in traffic. I used to work uh, in the Washington D.C. area, and it would take an hour and a half to go 25 miles. Right. I mean, you you could literally read the newspaper while you were sitting in traffic. How? How, it, to what extent, as compared to living here and working downtown Chicago, which I think you're going to be hitting those traffic jams, mm -hmm. to what extent can you attract businesses as I look out the window at different office buildings here and, and it's well developed? Uh, how, how, you know, how much of a sales point is that to say, look, build your businesses here and your workforce is not going to be spending hours a day in traffic, which is a high stress. Uh, right. factor on anyone. Well, and it cuts into productivity as well. Right. Uh, time spent behind a wheel is not nearly as productive as it is behind a desk. And we think that with the amenities that we have in DuPage County that uh, it's an easy sell. Uh, the suburbs are quite strong. Um, I think we noticed that with the move of Caterpillar to um, Lake County, Illinois. Uh, DuPage County was being considered at the same time. There are advantages to being in, the, in DuPage County. We're close to O'Hare. Um, if you're in the transportation, logistics, or distribution business, our interstate highway network is unmatched. Uh, quality of life is high. And I think it's, you know, it's a trend like anything else. It'll, it's a pendulum which swings back and forth. Um, we're every bit as confident as, as we always were that DuPage County is a good place to do business. And we're seeing corporate relocations here as well. And you, you still are? Yes. Uh, seeing oh, that. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to say, when every, everyone has challenges, what challenges are you facing and trying to address? Well, the challenge that we face is this uh, misconception uh, out there that you have to be downtown to attract the talent. That's not true. There are 19 colleges and universities with operations in DuPage County. We have a highly educated workforce. Uh, it's, you don't have to be downtown to attract that kind of talent. Their talent is out here. So it's a, part of it's a perception problem, um, and we're trying to change that perception. And when we uh, taking it back to Springfield, I often 
tell people, where the Illinois Channel, of course, covers a, a lot of state government, state government issues, but I often make the point that uh, public policy issues don't start and stop under the Capitol Dome. Mm -hmm. They're out places like here, and they mm -hmm. have to be addressed in Springfield. The governor has made a big point on property taxes. When you're working on your economic development issues, uh, how big of a factor is that? Well, it's always it's a cost of doing business, and it's something that employers and corporations and companies consider when making those decisions. We in DuPage County don't uh, don't raise taxes or impose taxes just to abate them. So we don't have a big financial incentive package. We think that our property, commercial property, industrial property tax rates are comparable or favorable compared to anybody in the state. Uh, we are confident that we make a, uh, a good argument that you ought to be working, living, and, and playing in DuPage County because of our tax environment. We have an, an, a lot of leadership here in DuPage County, um, great leadership in DuPage County, business and government work together. Uh, under the leadership of Dan Cronin, our county board chairman, we have seen um, taxes actually reduced and eliminated. So uh, he is committed to his act proposal, which is accountability, um, consolidation, and, and transparency. It says a lot about the administration here and a lot about the government here. Uh, businesses appreciate that. It's a strong contrast to many other places in the state. So because of that and because of our, our conservative tax policies, companies prosper in DuPage County. You know, another factor that uh, obviously over the last 20 years, uh, the, the, the big game changer has been the whole development of the Internet. And as it's been rolled out, I mean, we certainly remember it wasn't that long ago that we had dial-up access to the Internet, but now we've got the broadband. And one of the key features uh, for economic development for corporations often is what's the connectivity. When you, uh, to what extent is that a factor? I mean, as you go around and talk to businesses, how important do you hear that from them? I think it's a, it, it's a competitive issue, um, and I think we're ahead of the game right here. It, there's, it has not been an issue. The fact that it's not an issue, I think, is it's a statement for DuPage County. Uh, we've got two national laboratories in DuPage County. There are 17 in the entire country, two in DuPage County. I think that the technology knowledge and the technology competitiveness in DuPage County is as strong as it is anywhere else. And obviously the interesting thing is with the, with the factor that we can, uh, you know, it used to be that all commerce was local, and now with that kind of activity, we can be located increasingly almost anywhere and be dealing, depending on what it is you're, you're selling, right, or, right. Or, or with people around the world, right? Exactly. I think that uh, in DuPage County, that, I mean, that has not been an issue. It's not something I've heard of. So it's, it's to, to me, it's we are competitive with any place in the country, or or the world, or have the advantage over maybe other places. Right. Are. When when we uh, we're talking about commuting, and I know you have a program that's. Uh, I think in the development <coughs> stage, but it might be something that's of yeah. interest to other places. What, the, what's it called? The Dash uh, program? The Nova Dash card. It's, it's, it is part of. We have a. We do a lot of things that a lot of other economic development organizations throughout the state do. We do all the site selection work. We meet with uh, developers. We work with the real estate industry. We're always trying to attract companies to come to to do Page County. For the first year or so, that's primarily what we focused on. My first year, that's what we focused on. After a year of being here, uh, it occurred to me that there are some. There are some sweet spots for DuPage County that we really need to focus on um, to make us even more competitive and more desirable place to live and work. Um, it became known as our four-point plan. Uh, one of those points is solving the last mile, first mile commute dilemma that many employers and employees face. The first mile, last mile commute means uh, in areas where you haven't got a density like you do in Cook County where there's 24-hour bus services in some neighborhoods every 10 or 20 minutes, um, we can't support that kind of service here in DuPage County. There isn't enough, isn't enough de de density, which is an advantage and a disadvantage. Um, but to solve the problem, we've worked with a, uh, a company called the Innova EV electric vehicle. To solve the first mile, last mile commute, we had to look at three, a couple different options to solve the problem. And these options, these solutions range from low tech to high tech. Low tech means putting sidewalks in some neighborhoods. Midtech is working with a bicycle share company, sharing company, which is uh, tailored specifically for suburban areas and college campuses. High tech is Innova EV. As I said earlier, we've got incredible capacity to com for commuters to come into the county and to leave the to go out of the county to go to commute downtown or commute from downtown out here. 
uh, nearly 30 metric train stops. When you get to that train stop, how do you get that last mile? Maybe it's a mile and a half, maybe it's three quarters of a mile, but it's become known as the last mile, first mile. So if someone takes that train in, it's right. another mile to their office. Had, and without 10 minute bus service um, around the clock, it's a problem. Um, for some of the industrial sites in the county where there's carpooling that takes place, for example, if one person changes jobs or gets a promotion or a different shift, four people are out of work or out of, can't get to work. So we've come up with a, with a solution with a partner, a DuPage County company based in Burr Ridge uh, that operates high-tech electric vehicles, zero emissions, um, on a couple different platforms. Either it's a zip car type model where you reserve the car, you drive it, run your errands, come back, drop it off, you know where it's going to be parked. Or it's a divvy type model where you reserve, you, the bike is there, you get in, you, you know, the car, you get in, you go. These are platforms for technology. So if a person's on a train coming from Ogilvy Center or from Union Station, they reserve their seat by the app on their phone, the car's waiting there for them. Its optimum use is somewhere around two miles or so, um, and it's about 60% cheaper than Uber or Lyft. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. It's getting a lot of attention. We are presenting at the Association for Commuter Transportation in New Orleans in August um, on the pilot project that we've got going here in DuPage County. We're doing a pilot project at the Itasca Metro Station, going between Itasca Metro Station and um, um, Hamilton Lakes Development, office development. It's about 100 users there already. It's been in operation for, little, for less than a year. We see it growing. And with 30 stops in DuPage County, uh, there's a lot of upside potential for this, and people seem to love it. Hey, so how long has that been going on now? Since, about the, since the end of last year, beginning of, beginning of this year. And you're obviously taking some kind yeah. of feedback, I yeah, guess, from users and, and yeah, a lot positive of, feedback? Very or? positive. Um, this has taken a lot of stress out of people's lives, not knowing, you know, in the summertime you don't want to ride a bicycle to your work. In the wintertime you don't want to ride a bicycle to your, to your workplace. If you've got this car waiting for you. And you don't want to take a cab because you end up spending $10 to go the last mile And you or end up waiting you know? for one. This is, this is something which attracts the millennials as well. It's an, it's an unmatched um, convenience. Um, they love flexibility. Now, it's, you know, I hate to generalize, but as a tr generally speaking, uh, flexibility and convenience are big factors in their decision-making process. You can't get any more convenient than this. Uh, you're on a train, you use your phone, the car's waiting for you. Currently, it's two passengers. It's growing to four passengers next, and it could be six or eight going forward. Um, it could be autonomous sometime this year if, we, if it, they chose chose it to be. They choose it to be. So it's a it's 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 a breakthrough in solving the last mile first mile commute dilemma that we've been facing f forever. It seems um, we have three lines coming to DuPage County, and every one of those train stations has a problem with getting that last mile to home, from home to the station, or vice versa, or from the station to work. It's it's fascinating, and I'd like to hear more as we go forward. Mm -hmm. You know how it's working out because as I say, uh, there's so many times where people they don't want the the cost of of just driving their own or, or just the stress of driving, as we said in traffic. So every person you can get to take that train ride in, and then you have well, an answer for that last mile. You're taking a car off precisely. the road. Precisely, and you're increasing productivity because that time spent on a train is work time, generally speaking. Um, we see it as, as, a, as an answer to a lot of people's prayers that they're able to make, simplifies life with, at low cost. Uh, there's not, not much to complain about here. As we sit here and uh, the camera looks behind you, it's seeing trees, it's mm -hmm. wooded. Uh, we have a lake out there. So it's almost interesting that the way this area is being developed, when we think back to the industrial parks of the 1950s, it was all about functionality. You didn't think in terms of having a workplace where it was also like living in a or working in a park area. Why is that important? It's obviously planned. And to what extent do you get feedback from people as far as where do they value that or not? Well, we did a poll. Uh, it's not a poll. It's a survey. We did um, about a year ago with one of our members, um, JLL, Jones Lang LaSalle, uh, on employee preferences. We pushed it out. It wasn't a scientific poll necessarily, but it was. we wanted to do a survey of what people think and feel. We found that a lot of people in DuPage County like what they're doing. They like where they're working. It's close to home. They wish there were some more options for this or for that. But for the most part, satisfaction levels were very, very high. Uh, we see this, this is a very diverse county, more diverse than you think it might be. In the northern part of the county, there's a lot more manufacturing, industrial sites. Um, in the northwest part of the county, you see a cluster developing around food processing and distribution. 
Um, it's a big county, nearly a million people here, second biggest county in the state with a very diverse economy. We have a focus on health care, um, Northwestern, Central DuPage, um, Elmhurst, Edward, um, Advocate, um, uh, Adventist, a lot of hospital operations here. Rush has just opened a new spot. Uh, it, it broke ground last month in, DuPage, in Oak Brook in DuPage County for a facility. So that's one of the clusters that's developing. I think because the people are here, the concentration of people uh, is here, and the demographics in terms of the ability uh, to spend uh, and to buy and to consume uh, is strong. So we see operate, you know, shopping is a big uh, industry here. But the biggest industries we've found so far are manufacturing, that you'd be surprised at. These are small operations, relatively small operations, um, 200 employees. Some of them are running three shifts a day, five or six, six or seven days a week, uh, producing parts for companies like uh, Boeing or Caterpillar in little machine shops in DuPage County. Food distribution and processing is a big industry here in DuPage County, uh, as is health care and education. So it's a lot of different. Nothing is the same all over the county. It's, it's very diverse. What's interesting to me, when you look at a county like uh, DuPage, and you said it's about a million population, mm -hmm. do you know offhand uh, what the economy is in terms of dollars, roughly, uh, of DuPage County? Because mm -hmm. what I'm, yeah. I, would ask, I would guess that your economic impact is as great as some states. Uh, when you compare it to a Wyoming or some, right. some of these right. areas, uh, and it's easy to overlook how, how important a DuPage County is to the actual the part and parcel of the economy of the country. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Sorry. But uh, as we uh, are sitting here, and you're always looking to have more people bring their businesses here. Correct. It seems sometimes when you drive around, you know, that it's fairly developed. You have areas... Yeah. where you can still put new businesses? Well, back to our four-point plan for economic prosperity here in DuPage County. One of, the, one of the points in that plan is the development of the DuPage Business Park. The DuPage Business Park is several hundred acres uh, on the western edge of the county, the largest, la the last un large tract of undeveloped land in the county. Um, it's prime real estate for manufacturing, um, and we hope to make some improvements so that it's a better place even for transportation, logistics, and distribution. It's adjacent to the DuPage County Airport, um, so if a company has a, uh, it values that access to air transportation, it's a great spot to be. People forget that DuPage County Airport is about the size, its footprint's about the size of Midway Airport, and it's got customs and immigration facilities. No regularly scheduled service, it's primarily general aviation, private aviation, but it's, it's a jewel in the county that's underappreciated, and it's, it's, its proximity to the DuPage Business Park, I think, makes DuPage Business Park a great place to build, expand, and grow. So that's one of the that's one of the areas that we're trying to promote here at Choose DuPage, is the is the value of being located at the DuPage Business Park. And when you before we uh, close out, let's go back to uh, what's going on with the state economy and the state budget and all. When you talk to uh, you mentioned Dan Cronin, who's now yep. the uh, county uh, chief uh, chief executive officer. He used to be a state senator, Correct. so he's intimate uh, with knowledge of what's going on in Springfield. W what do you say to your local state reps and senators uh, as far as what they can do that would help you uh, in your well, question? Uh, for in addition to doing, the things, to doing the things that we would like to see the legislature do in terms of making, creating a more business-friendly environment here, we say get a budget. Businesses need a budget. Businesses expect to pay taxes. They know they're going to pay taxes. This, they don't mind paying taxes. They want to know what the tax is going to be five, ten years down the road. General Assembly typically operates in 18-month windows. Businesses can't operate with an 18-month plan. They have to have a five, ten, twenty-year plan. So the predictability of the state's business environment is important to the businesses in the state, and that's something we want to see the state focus on. You know, one last thing, uh, as I drive up here, we, and it's fascinating that uh, this is an area where you have two national labs, and so many people don't focus on that. You have the right. Fermi and the Argonne, and I think people may have heard of these, but they really don't know what is their role and, and what impact yeah. are they having, if, if any, on DuPage well, County. It's really, it's really very impressive. There are only 17 national laboratories in the United States, and two are in DuPage County. We work closely with Argonne. We work with Fermi as well, but Argonne, I think, is something we are working on a more day-to-day -day basis with because the products and the ideas and the... Uh, the, the, 
the patents which come out of Argonne National Laboratory are probably two or three steps away from general marketplace. They are making the, they have developed the batteries that are in vehicles we see on the road today. What they do is so uh, technical that it's, it's hard for the lay, average person, a lay person, to understand exactly what's coming out of there. So we are looking forward to working with Argonne. They have created their own incubator there. It's called Chain Reaction Innovations. We here at Choose DuPage want to work with the companies that are members of Chain Reaction Innovations to assure that they stay here when, they're, when they've developed and, and they go public. Uh, we think and they think, the National Labs, that this region, because of Argonne and Fermi, can be similar to the Silicon Valley and Route 128 in Boston. What Route 128 is to Boston and what the Silicon Valley is to San Francisco, Argonne and Fermi can be to the Chicagoland area, and we have them right here in DuPage County, and we need to appreciate that and take advantage of it. As I understand it, basically we might look at those just to give a kind of a thumbnail sketch of what they do. They're, they're federally funded research facilities, and so Correct. that's where we can do that cutting edge stuff that no one business is going to necessarily right. have the resources to to spend uh, millions of dollars on something that tens may or may of not millions pan of out. Dollars, right? Tens of millions of dollars. And the companies that are, attra- it's, it's, in Argonne's case, is a magnet for high-tech, entrepreneurial minded companies uh, and individuals. And once those companies, they, some of them may be as small as two or five employees. Uh, once they come here, we want them to stay here. We want them to know that DuPage County and the state of Illinois is a good place to do business. And we hope that they get the same experience from DuPage County as we get from Argonne. Yeah, I was going to say, you and I can remember growing up, I mean, how the space program, because the federal government right. had to develop so much new technology t- to get us to the moon, that the spinoff of that created a vast amount of wealth throughout the country. In fact, the fact that we have our cell phones and so many other things. And Ting. And what? Ting. Ting, yes. <laughs> uh, but but spun off from that, and I think uh, these these two facilities yeah. are the same oh, kind yeah, of thing. Their work is such at such a high level that we, we, we can't appreciate it. We don't understand it. I don't understand it. Not many people do, um, but they do. And the the value that they create is something we need to capture here in DuPage County. Well, and not just for cars, but you you touched on this so when you talked about batteries. Uh, people may not know that that all the electricity we are using in our homes and our factories or businesses was produced a second ago. There's no great way to store electric power. They, uh, they at Argonne they refer to it as energy storage. We refer to it as batteries. But their energy, energy storage programs <clears throat> are things that will be seen, be commonplace probably within the next decade or so that we can't comprehend today. Well, and, and I've talked to enough people to know that that is kind of the holy grail because right. so much of when we talk about solar power or wind power, the problem is you can't store that, and it's not always. If we develop our storage capacity, uh, it would just be a game changer in a whole lot of areas. It sure would. It would change the face of the grid. And it's right here in DuPage. Yeah, it is. All right. John Carpenter, thank you again thank for you, joining Terry. us. Thank you, Appreciate it.